Hello, I'm Alex Gupta with UATV. Today I'm speaking with Dmitry Gavrilenko. He is the head of the Ukraine office for JLL, a global real estate firm. Hello, Mr. Gavrilenko. Thank you for joining us today. Hello, Alex. Nice to hear you. So you work with JLL Real Estate and you focus on you know, office real estate, retail, I imagine. Would you be able to give us a synopsis, an overview of the office real estate market in Kyiv? Uh, that, that's correct. I'm the head of uh, uh, JLL. This is a global international firm which is focused on real estate, commercial real estate, presumably in office and retail segments uh, in uh, on the market. So the general trends of the office market uh, as of now. Um, we need to talk definitely about the vacancy rate. Uh, the uh, total vacancy rate right now is about 19%. Uh, if we divide it uh, between uh, class A and class uh, B uh, uh, office segments, uh, in class A uh, vacancy rate is 26%, in class B it's 17%. It's the highest uh, vacancy rate compared to Central Eastern uh, European countries. Uh, the main reason for uh, the vacancy, such vacancy rate is uh, low level of completions uh, on the market. Uh, uh, but uh, last uh, quarter of 2016, we've, we've, we have witnessed some increase of demand from tenants and the, uh, the vacancy rate uh, declined a little bit uh, uh, and uh, the demand was driven presumably by IT companies and uh, pharmaceutical companies. What's the difference between grade A and grade B? This is a difference between uh, location, definitely, and the quality of office premises. So grade A is a great location and very nice office premises, and grade B is a little bit lower. A little bit lower. It might be renovated old uh, buildings, uh, which, uh, uh, in terms of uh, some renovation, remodernization, uh, they are right now used as uh, office premises. So they cannot be treated as uh, class uh, A, definitely. But you said that you're seeing a lot of IT companies moving, and pharmaceutical companies moving into grade A real estate. Uh, I can't say that they move in only in A segment. They are the major driving forces of demand uh, from the tenant side. So they take about 80% of all the new le leased uh, space uh, on the market. So these are these two sectors uh, of economy are major driving forces of uh, of the demand. What areas of Kiev are hot for office retail or office space right now? Uh, this is central business district, definitely, and Podil. Podil is the uh, has the lowest vacancy rate. It's close to zero, and uh, uh, central business district uh, the total vacancy rate about 18 percent. So these are major uh, districts which uh, uh, are in high demand from from tenants, and the lowest uh, vac uh, the highest uh, vacancy rate is in the right bank. I don't know, tenants uh, don't really like uh, the Rhine Bank. What is it about Padil that is drawing so many new tenants to that area, especially IT companies? I know there's a lot of IT companies who are moving to Padil, but what is it about that area? It's a nice historic place. Uh, honestly saying, I, I can't uh, explain. It's like uh, uh, in terms of uh, a mentality, uh, because I, I can explain explain uh, in in the following way. There are not so many uh, office uh, spaces in Podil, but in terms of uh, attractiveness, uh, uh, it is okay for tenants. But in central business district, it has high demand, but it has a lot of supply. That's why uh, there are still empty places in uh, central business district. I want to ask you, what kind of amenities do a lot of these companies want? Uh, the, the, you mean the size of uh, premises? Which oh, yeah, the size of premises. Are there any special amenities? Do they want, uh, you know, a ping pong table or, you know, IT companies like that sort of? What, are there any special amenities? Do they want a cafeteria? 
Yeah, yeah. The, the market the market is as uh, is as follows. So uh, there is a certification definitely of tenants. Some IT companies they want the 1,000 square meters and above. Uh, some of them uh, occupy uh, less premises like uh, 500 square meters and and less. Uh, and uh, uh, the peculiar feature that they do. Uh, uh, fit out works by themselves and uh, the landlord uh, offers just shell and core premises and it's a matter of uh, creativity how uh, IT companies want they, their office to look like. So everyone want, wants to be similar to Google, that's why they just uh, are very creative and have a high uh, imagination of uh, what needs to be in place in their office. Is there a lot of new construction happening? I know there's a lot of new apartments being constructed, but what about on the office sector? Is there any new construction? Uh, let me, yes. Uh, if we uh, look at 2017, we see in the pipeline about uh, 35,000 uh, uh, square meters uh, uh, which uh, is planned to be built uh, next year. These are three premises, uh, a start a business center phase one and a start a business center phase two. They have in common 32,000 square meters and Retroville business center is about 8,000 square meters. Uh, so about 40,000 square meters is announced uh, for completion in 2017. This is 9% higher than 2016. What about on the retail sector? Is the retail sector a little bit higher? More retail tenants? Uh, when we talk about um, retail, then I need to admit the following uh, um, trends and uh, uh, features of, of the market. The vacancy rate in 2016 is uh, reached 12%. It's uh, uh, 7.5 higher than uh, in quarter 3 2016. Uh, the vacancy increase was due to the market entering of two new quality facilities with GLA of uh, 136,000 square meters. Uh, right now we, we witness a strong demand for retail space in quality shopping centers this, uh, this demand comes from local retailers, uh, and uh, we see that activity of foreign operators is picking up. Uh, if we exclude the completion in uh, Q4 of uh, the above mentioned uh, premises, the vacancy rate would have uh, been 4.1%. Uh, if we talk, talk about um, demand, we need to say that uh, uh, almost 70% of the demand uh, for quality reality retail spaces uh, was from fashion segment tenants, and uh, the demand from uh, foreign retailers was uh, comparable to the local brand's demand. I want to ask you just, what is your prognosis on the real estate office and retail going forward? Do you see it improving uh, dramatically over the next few years? What is your uh, expert advice, expert opinion? Uh, honestly saying, we see some kind of stabilization on the market, uh, both on uh, in offices and in retail. We see uh, that uh, in terms of behavioral aspect, in terms of uh, perception of uh, the reality of the macroeconomic situation that uh, uh, both tenants and developers uh, start uh, to be more optimistic. Uh, I would say they have like conservative optimism. They're not in panic. They, they, they see how economy will perform and how their strategy fits into this uh, uh, reality. So we, we see the launch of new projects both on retail and offices segment and in terms of uh, uh, demand uh, pro if we talk about offices that w we see that uh, the current supply will be uh, occupied by the uh, existing demand within the next uh, one and a half year and in terms of retail it's very hard right now to find the quality space to lease uh, on the market that means that if we talk about Kyiv that uh, uh, in Kyiv retail is definitely picking up. Oh, thank you so much for joining us today, Mr. Gavrilenko. We really appreciate it. Thank you for inviting me to join your interview.
Thank you. Have a good rest of the day. You too. I'm Alex Gupta with UATV. Today I was speaking with Mr. Dmitry Gavrilenko. He is the head of JLL in Ukraine, a global real estate firm.